Good morning, everyone. Welcome into my channel. So today is Tuesday, the Tuesday after Christmas. I think I'm going to head east to Montgomeryville. If you saw the video that I recently filmed, I found some great items there and it is sticking in my brain. I've got to go back and see what else they have. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. We're going thrifting together. Okay, this is Goodwill Montgomeryville. We were here and I filmed, this is the Goodwill where I found the large hot air balloon chandelier and the gold mirror. So I am pretty excited. I really liked this store. And last time I came with Roger, um, they were closing. We had gotten here late in the day. So today I have lots of hours to find lots of things. And on top of that, it's still blue tag. I believe all of the Goodwills do that sale, yes. So it is still $2 Tuesday. We're gonna see what we can find blue tag and we're gonna take a look at hard goods. All right, we're gonna start down the mugs and plates aisle. I think that's how they do it here. I don't see anything on the shelf saying what the items are. Here is a Starbucks mug. Unfortunately, it's got a little chip there and it's only Seattle. I always go for these mugs if they are really like foreign places or obscure places. I love finding Hawaii and different um, parts of Hawaii. What other ones do I like? Just European countries are always phenomenal. All right, I don't see any other mugs that look that interesting. Let's move on down the aisle. Oh, is this Mikasa? I think this is Mikasa. Majestic wear, fooled me. All right, Autumn Vibes, kind of looks like Ray Dunn. Yes, Ray Dunn. Oh, so much Ray Dunn. I see more Ray Dunn probably than I care to see in a lifetime. <laughs> oh, this one's kind of interesting. Huh, little Christmas mug. HH, oh, I should know who this is. Houston Harvest, is that what that says? Are you guys proud of me reading very fine print without my readers? For those of you who ask, it's very hard to hold the camera, look through the camera and put readers on and off besides watching my handbag and looking at my phone, all the things. So that is why I don't put my readers on and off and I try just to see what the item is saying some Christmas plates down here. I am so over Christmas this year. I just want to take down my tree and get to get to summer. This cellar, huh, made in Japan on Tannenbaum. Okay, I wonder if the cellar is Macy's? That's not Macy's cellar, right? I think this is just the cellar. Very heavy stoneware, $3 a plate. The wood basket aisle. Look at these candle holders. Very simply made. Home Co. $1.99. Little crooked. Almost looks like a pipe. Doesn't that look like a corn cob pipe? That is so funny. There are four of them. There's an interesting piece. I haven't seen these in a while. This is, I think this is soapstone. I'm not exactly sure what kind of stone this is. Huh, crowning touch collection made in India. What kind of stone would come from India? I don't know. $2.99 has an inlay. Heart-shaped box. Now I will have to pull off the tape and check for chips, but I'm kind of liking this. I'm going to put this right in the cart. This bird statue is capturing my attention. It looks to be a mold, but boy, is this well painted. Whoever painted this did a great job. So it says CC 1975 Holland Mold. A lot of Holland molds can bring very good money. We know the Christmas trees, the Santas. I don't know that a Robin Redbreast, is that what kind of bird this is? <laughs> I don't know my birds. I don't know how this would do, but I'm gonna take time to look this up only because it's very well painted. Great job, Cece. All right, this is gonna go in the front and it's gonna be a lookup pile. So I'm gonna have to run comps and look these up, but. Look how pretty that is. I kind of wish it was a cardinal or a bluebird or a goldfinch or a hummingbird. <laughs> Poor Robin Redbreast. Okay, I have to say this store gets the prize for the cleanest, most well-organized Goodwill. Look at this. They have one whole aisle for Halloween and then you turn around and it's Easter. I have never seen such an organized Goodwill that they have specific shelves 
like for the holiday. Okay, I have to say these are plastic, but boy, are these good. I wonder who originally made those. Fencing that you use in your yard, it's like garden stakes. Oh, something's making noise. Be quiet. <laughs> Somebody donated their Halloween decorations. I bet you those would do really well. I just can't store stuff like that in my basement till next Halloween. I don't think these would sell, you know, this time of year, but very interesting. All right. I don't know that I'm buying any Halloween stuff, so we're going to move past these aisles, but I thought I'd show this to you. Look how clean this is. This is the Goodwill with the marble floors, the special Goodwill. All right, we're going to move towards pink and purple. Now the aisles seem to be divided by colors. Very interesting. I don't know what's going on here. Wow, look at this big picture. This probably originally came with a bowl. Again, I think somebody painted this. $6.99 is not bad. DB, 1982. So many of the items that we find that look like this type of thing are, um, I'm going to call them craft projects, where you buy the mold and then you paint it. This side is purple. Not seeing too much on the purple aisle. What are these? Oh, somebody made lavender wands. They look to be quite dried out. Okay, music is quite loud, so hopefully you guys aren't hearing the music too loud. Okay, nothing on the purple aisle, but I'm still having hope. Okay, I guess this is their linens aisle, linens and pillows. Ooh. What is this? This looks to be a vintage Ralph Lauren duvet cover, maybe? I think that's what this is. All right, I'm gonna pull this down. Oh, the weight on it is so heavy. That's a lot of times how you can tell good linens. The weight of a cotton is much heavier because the um, thread count is higher, if that makes sense. Let me just pull to the side. Other people trying to pass. Okay, I'm going to look for the tag and I will let you know if it's a Ralph Lauren or not. Okay, pretty sure it's a duvet cover. Very large. It's got to be a king, I'm guessing, or a California king. This is the pattern. I haven't checked it yet for stains. The quality of it is beautiful. I love Ralph Lauren linens. The vintage linens always do well for me. I'm going to try to find the tag. Here is the price. Let's see what they're charging. $4.99. A lot of times you can get over $100 for a Ralph Lauren King duvet. I'm guessing this is King. Let's see if we can find the opening. It should be on this side. If I know where my Ralph Lauren tags are. Oh, there it is. Little telltale sign. It's looking good. Looks like a Ralph Lauren green tag. There we go. 100% cotton made in Italy. Yes, please. Am I looking right at the size of this? Up oh, there we are, king. All right, now all I have left to do is spread this out as best as I can and check for stains. I'm not expecting to find any big stains. This is gorgeous. All right, great first find in this Goodwill. So glad I made the trip. This thing is stunningly beautiful. So if Roger is with me thrifting or somebody is with me, I ask them to hold the other end so we can thoroughly check the duvet. But when you're on your own, I have found this is the best way to check it. Now it does seem like it's dragging on the floor a little bit, but I just make sure that the floor doesn't look overly dusty. And I go ahead and spread out the whole thing over my cart. Try to turn the cart so I can see all sides of the duvet. And then I flip it and do the same thing. This one looks just beautiful, beautiful condition. Look how big this thing is. I am thrilled for $5. Now I have to find out what pattern this is. I don't recognize the pattern, but I'm sure somebody's gonna want this. And yeah, this is item number two going in the cart. Okay, so I'm just checking on the Holland mold uh, for the bird figurine that I have here and most of these are bringing 10 to 15 dollars I don't necessarily see a robin redbreast so I'm guessing that this is no and I will put this back on his shelf but like I said really nicely painted all right so this is going back okay continuing on with the linens seeing this little pom-pom runner does have a stain there and I don't know that this is anything special 
Kind of cute for a beach house. Some drapes, very cheaply made. You can feel it in the quality of the material. What else do we see? I am hoping for another Ralph Lauren vintage piece. That would be really good. It's just a towel. Oh, I see a pattern sticking out. Do you see it? Boy, is this vintage. This is 90s. These are curtains. The quality is very nice. I think this might be either Waverly or Crosil. Is that how we say that? I can never say that name for some reason. And there are quite a few of them. They look to be drapes with some tie backs. So let's pull these down. Okay, I guess these are the tie backs and you get all of them for $2.99. So I think it's gonna be $2.99 a hanger. And these look to be in gorgeous condition. I am gonna pull all of these down and see how many we're talking. So here are the valances or the toppers. And when I take a look at this, this is like a mystery to me. Here is the tag, it's Croso. Interesting. Okay, so each hanger is $2.99 did I say? $2.99. So here is the drape, also $2.99. So it's going to be $2.99 a hanger, it looks to be. Let me just check. Look at the amount of this. This is a really good find because then I can put together sets and do one listing and sell them as a pair of drapes with toppers. Yeah, that would be really good. The only thing I don't understand and it's a little bit of a mystery to me is when I look at the sewing on these, it almost seems they're handmade, which I'm not understanding that. Let me pull up a seam so I can show you guys. See this side seam? Now it could have been that somebody altered them or it could be that there is a machine that does this, but this looks hand sewn to me. So somebody either took yardage and made the curtain, but more likely it's that they took drapes and, um, split one drape in two and then altered them. So the last store I was in, Shillington, I found drapes, Crosil again, I don't know if I'm saying that right, and um, they were altered, they were hemmed, which is a whole problem in itself. So I wound up putting those back. Yeah, these look to be hand sewn. So I'm gonna go through the pile and see if that is the situation with all of them. They're in beautiful condition. I'm gonna spread this out so you guys can see the pattern on this. Look at this floral. If that's not English garden, I don't know what is. These would be gorgeous if you're very into that English, like I don't even know what to call this. English sunroom tea room. How pretty is that? Not really my style, but I think this is a good deal. I'm gonna go through them and see, you know, if they're all in great shape, I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these. Okay, so it turns out we have four drapery panels and six valances. I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that amount. I think with two drapes, I'm gonna do three valances. So it's like a puff. These are like the balloon valances. Look at this pattern. <laughs> I am so like, I don't know, enamored with it. I definitely don't want it in my house, but I think it's just memories. And along with that, I'm going to purchase the drapery tie backs. How many do I have of these? One, two, three, four. So that works out great. The ones I am leaving are these funny little pieces. I don't know what these are. I think somebody might have had like a door or something and they needed a shorter valance, but I think that's too custom. Now somebody might have made these out of crosil drapes or sheets. I'm not exactly sure, but they're beautifully done. So I'm going to go ahead and take these, put these in my cart. So what am I paying for this? $3 a piece. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 times 3, right? $33 for all of it. That is a steal. These are going in my cart. They're beautiful. They feel like they've either been dry cleaned and pressed or they were never used. Super clean. And again, this is the tag. So great find. All right. It's a linens kind of day. Okay, so I just found this knitted blanket. It's like a throw blanket and it has special loops for hanging on the wall. I was pretty thrilled with this find. I think this would probably bring a solid 40 to 50, but then I realized what the Goodwill tag says and they want 30 for it. 
really nice, clean condition, gorgeous blanket or afghan. This is made in the USA, so I'm thinking this is probably vintage. Really beautiful. Somebody with a family member or a friend in the Marine Corps would probably love this, but at $30, I'm gonna pass on it, but I'm sure it's worth it. All right, figured I'd show it to you guys. So I wound up going back to this blanket and checking the tag again. I thought maybe I saw it wrong and that it was $3. I was hoping it was $3. Meanwhile, it was $30. So I did get to talk to the manager and explain to her that I saw the blanket and was that really the price for it? I felt it was quite high and I told her it is a nice blanket. You know, I never want to make it seem like they don't have nice things. They do. And she said, let them know up front that you can have it for $3. So thrilled with this blanket. Just beautiful. Okay, so this is what the cart is looking like. I think I'm finished here. I did get some blue tag clothing items. So these are all going to be $2 each. But I really came to see the hard goods. Now, it didn't turn out to be a hard goods day. It turned out to be a linens day. Just as good, easier to ship. This is interesting. I don't want it, but I thought I'd show this to you guys. And the boat picture is still here. I still love it, but I'm glad to see somebody brought it down. And it is a print. So I think we're going to head out and maybe hit another thrift store or two on the way home. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Okay, so I just found a new thrift store, Liberty Ministries Thrift. I definitely have never been here, I don't think. This is in Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania, and I just came from the Goodwill, and I had seen this from the street, 50% off Christmas. So this is not Goodwill. I don't think this is a Goodwill, Liberty Thrift. I'm not sure what this is. Their colors are the same as Goodwill. That's what's confusing me. Liberty Ministries. Okay. Let's go inside and see what we can find to flip for a profit. Okay. I have to say this looks very fun. Clothing on the left. Lots of furniture. Lots of bric-a-brac home decor. So that's exciting. Look at the lamps. Let's start in lamps. Why? I don't know because I don't want to ship lamps. Oh, there's more lamps down here. I really hope their pricing is good because this could be a new good place to thrift. It is a little bit far from my house, but since there's a good Goodwill and there's also a thrift store, um, I'd like when a couple of stores are grouped together if I have to make, you know, make it a road trip. Oh, look at this, tested and it works. They're testing things, what, $10? Okay, the music is quite loud, so hopefully I won't get a strike on my account. That is the problem with music played in the stores. When you go to film, if the music is copyrighted, I could get a strike and then they'll demonetize my video. We don't want that. All right, wow, this looks like a very fun place. It's kind of like reminding me of a mix between the bins and a regular store, because it's kind of like you see um, carts filled with things, but I don't think any of this is by the pound. I think this is probably all individually priced. I love that they're testing things. How fantastic is that? Okay, look at this lamp. What? What? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gorgeous. Eight dollars. Oh. Karen, you don't want to ship lamps, remember? No, I don't remember that. When I look at stuff like this, I just forget all of my rules. Oh, she's gorgeous. Okay, we're looking at the plug. Look at the age of that plug. Hmm. Oh, this is so hard to walk away from. But with going on vacation and all the things, oh, it has a chip. Well, that's sad in a way, but that's good in a way gorgeous just gorgeous but it does have a chip so makes it easier to leave behind <laughs> oh guys continuing on with the lamps look at this one. Oh my word somebody has attached it to a wood base bad move and I don't know that this is the original lampshade but this piece is phenomenal 
I wonder how that's glued onto this base. It would probably crack taking it off. Oh my word, this is everything. I love this. Okay, we're gonna try to tilt it. Oh, it's very heavy. Yeah, darn, why would somebody do that? Yeah, and that feels, uh, it has a little bit of a wiggle to it. I wonder if it would pop off. Okay, what are we getting for this? What are, what are they getting for it? Oh, I'm very excited. I don't even know what I'm saying. Where's the price on this? Oh, that is so beautiful. Up oh, there's the price, $20. Does that say $20? I think it does. Oh. Why would somebody put it on a wood piece? Oh, I hate walking away from it. It's so sad to walk away from it. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna give that one thought, believe it or not. Okay, so I've looked over it a little bit and I don't know if this originally started as a lamp. I'm thinking it did, but I'm not positive because when I look at the bottom of it, it is screwed to the base. See that? Somebody has actually screwed this on. So then I thought maybe this is a bird bath base that they turned into a lamp. But I don't think that's right either. What a conundrum. Okay, I'm walking away. Saddest, saddest day of my whole life. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Okay, we are approaching home decor. I sound like a pilot. We're approaching home decor. Shall we go that way? Or should we go that way? I think I'm gonna go this way because I'm gonna avoid the Christmas aisle. So I'm gonna start down this first aisle. Hmm, ooh, they have fabric. Oh, this store is very fun, very fun. I'm not sure why. Okay, picture frames on the left. And then baskets of small artwork on the right. This looks to be a reproduction piece of metal. Let's pull this out. Oh, I have two of them. Okay. Yeah, these are new. There's the barcode, Scott's Rose. That'd be great if they were original. Okay, what else do we see? There's a t-shirt that I could create for merch. What else do we see? <laughs> you guys are always telling me to create merch. That'll be one of my sayings. Okay, we're gonna go down this aisle. Oh my goodness, this stuff is so interesting. I'm gonna try not to rush. Look at this heavy ashtray. How much is this? $1.99. Is this an ashtray? It's just a bowl. Okay, I'm putting that right in. I don't know what kind of glass this is. Is this Murano? Up, oh, up, oh, hold the phone. Does it have a chip? Let me just feel that. No, oh, the imperfections on the inside. I don't feel any roughness to it. This has got a little roughness right there. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna wait on it. If that was not chipped like that, I would pick that up. Okay, don't let me get overexcited and buy everything. Put everything in my cart. What is this piece here? $14.99, whoa, that's heavy. What, what is that made out of? I can't even lift this. I cannot even lift it, it's stone. This is carved stone. What kind of stone is that? It's got a rock to it. Oh, that's because they put felt pads. Okay, very interesting. Gee, I hope that's not the thing that would turn me into a millionaire and I'm leaving it behind. Hmm. Okay, a nice wood tray. It's got a little bit of damage over here. This is newer, but I do like it. Okay, I don't know how many people would want that, but that is really interesting. Carved stone statue. All right, well, one thing is this video is gonna be nothing like my Goodwill videos, that is for sure. I'm gonna try not to point at people. What in the world is this? The wood trick. $2.99 for a wood trick. I wonder what the trick is. Isn't it cool? $2.99, huh? I really like that. I'm gonna put that in my cart. 
Somebody else admiring it too. We'll see what the trick is later. Okay guys, get yourself something to drink. It's gonna be a very long video. <laughs> I think this is artist made. Kinda nice. Pretty shape. Okay, what else? What else do we see? I will try not to say that the whole video. I am just like taking it all in, trying to film, watch out for running people over with my cart and not miss anything on the aisles. The store is pretty crowded. I could see why. Oh, what is this little paperweight? Uh, doesn't, doesn't seem especially great. There's a dolphin up here. That's just newer made in China. Oh, what is this? Oh, he's got a broken arm. Oh no. Oh no. As is 375. His face is fairly good. Looks like he ate a red popsicle. Okay, lots of vintage stuff in this store also. This is newer, $3.99. You gotta love these prices. This is from Home Goods, $9.99. Oh, this little dish is cute. Bernadine, that doesn't say Bernadine. I don't know what that says. Looks French, butter dish, right? Kind of like that, $3. If this doesn't have a chip, I'm gonna get this. Something tells me to pick this up. I don't know who this is. Nope, can't even say that word. <laughs> but we're putting it in the cart. I love this little dish. Okay, this thrift store is just thrilling me. Where has this been all my life? Look at this piece of pottery. Looks older, $12, which is a little bit high, but lovely. Redware. You know what? I think I'm taking this for $12. I don't see any chips on it. It'd be nice if it was on sale, but I think the money from this store goes to missions, you know, other than like what Goodwill does, if that makes sense. I won't go any further with that, but I'm gonna pick that one up. And I also like this flying horse thing, $3.99. I think this must be, what, did, what, what do I want to say here? Um, I can't remember what this is called. But if he doesn't have damage, I'm getting him to $3.99. Okay. At the end, I'll put my glasses on when I'm not filming to see if it has any damage before I buy it. Oh, it kind of matches my nail polish. Yep, we're loving him too. He's going right in the cart. Look at that face. There's a little gnome. He's new. He's cute. Two dollars. Okay, I'm gonna have to go really slow to catch all of this. What is this? Tea time. Five dollars. <laughs> so funny how a mug is five dollars and a flying horse statue is, what was that one for? Oh, this is kind of pretty here. That is beautiful. Who is this red poppy? Huh, by Michael Lee for ambiance. Very pretty. That's, that's an ashtray in a brass kind of tray. All right, I think we're just gonna go right back up the same aisle on this side. Lots of dishes. Don't see anything especially catching my eye. Look at all the furniture. Oh, that's a nice piece right there with the marble top or the granite top. Wonder what they get for that, just out of curiosity. I don't need that piece, but that's kind of nice. Let's go take a look at that. What does it say? What does that even say? Sold. Wonder what they paid for it. 275. Okay, I'm not crazy about it. See this top, how it's made out of all pieces of, that's even a composite. That's not even real marble, thank goodness. Okay, I didn't need to buy it. Somebody else bought it. All right, we're going down the next aisle. I very much like these shelves back here so things can be on display. Like it has like a, a plate 
wreck situation going on. Who is this? I have never seen these before. Made in China. Huh. All right, we're gonna leave those. I'm trying to see if I see anything else that I do recognize. Some very big roosters. Okay, we're gonna go this way. I feel like when I'm in a new store and there's a lot going on, I probably miss so much. But it's so rare that I really see a store so different after thrifting for so long. What is this piece? Oh, this is pretty. Two dollars. Oh, it's got a big crack. Is that a crack? It is, right? Okay, unfortunately that is a crack. I'm noticing it comes through the front. That is a pretty one. So pretty. All right, where did I get this from? I don't even know. I'm gonna put it up here. Okay, if you are into single mugs, there are a ton here. Look at this end cap. All different kinds of cups and mugs. All right, this looks to be the plastic aisle. They are definitely sorting by types of things. Find joy in the ordinary, <laughs> that's cute. Five dollars. Huh, wonder what makes that five dollars. Little sugar bowl. Oh, little soy sauce dipping dishes, 75 cents a piece. Oh, look at this little glass dish with a cherry blossom theme. Sometimes I wonder what the original purpose of these types of things are. Maybe a, a jam or a jelly, something like that. Okay, so the last two aisles seem to be like wreaths and wall hangings and artwork. Ooh, ooh, look at this frame. What is this? Okay, it's definitely a print. Thirty-five. It's got damage. Look how old that frame is. That's very cool. Has a wave to the print. There's one black sheep. <laughs> Isn't there always? Okay, thank goodness this is a print because this is a big one. And you even get the, the light with it. <laughs> you see a little bit of damage. Tell me this is Robert Wood. This is the same artist that I just picked up last video. Remember how I picked up the Robert Wood um, painting? I don't know if this is the same Robert Wood. This is a print. Golden Surf, Robert Wood. I think it's the same signature. But again, this is a print. I wonder what this would go for, but it is, like I said, it is damaged a little bit. That is very cool find though. Okay, attention Liberty shoppers, glasses, beer, pilsner, and mugs are now a dollar, a dollar each, which makes these federal rooster highball glasses wonderful. This guy has a little shot in his neck. So this is gonna cost me $4. And these should go for probably 35, I'm gonna guess. Just beautiful. <laughs> what a good find. This store definitely wins hands down for the most interesting pieces. Very interesting. Look at that little teapot. Oh, this is one of those tandoori's where you cook chicken, I think. I don't know, oh, it's very heavy. I don't know that this is really worth anything and I wouldn't even take a chance at shipping. UPS keeps breaking my stuff. But very cool. I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Tandoori, T-A-N-D-O-R-I. Could be. I could be making that up. Okay, and this is a shortbread cookie mold, $4.99. See what's back. Brown bag designs, oh, 2003. Hill design. I think the 2003 will probably bring about $35. Could be wrong about that. Looks to be in great condition. We're gonna grab that at $5 and put that right in the cart. Okay, I will be sure to leave the address for this place in case you guys wanna shop here uh, in the show's notes. All right, so I'm passing this aisle again with this statue on it and I'm feeling like I should pick this up even though I know nothing about it. 
it seems to be hand carved stone and I'm kind of just looking at the symmetry of it and how well done it is it does have a little bit of rough like roughness around the edges like it's been you know banged but no major damage that I can tell and for me the $15 you know if it turns out to not be valuable is fine to take a chance on this so I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my cart I don't see a signature on the bottom I would think it should be signed but this looks like chiseled stone to me and like I said it's so heavy so this is the one chance I'm going to take in this store. I'm going to pick this up and I will report back if this turns out to be anything. Okay, I did run a comp on the Wood Trick little music box. It does have a few issues and these you can still get them. They're about $30 new and because it has an issue, Alice in Wonderland Wood Trick box has to go back. But that's very cool. I've never seen that before. I'm sure that's going to get scooped up. I've just hopped over to clothing. $6.99 for Notations top seems a little bit high. What is this one? Mercer. $4.99. Clothing is a little bit higher than I would want to see. They have quite a bit of it. Maybe certain colors go on sale, so that could be. Let's take a look at this little jacket. Yeah, $7. So not that far off from a Goodwill price. I don't see anything that's really standing out to me. A lot of shoes here. So if you're looking for shoes, let's see what the prices are. Here's like a simple wedge pump in Clark's. Let's see if I can find a price for you. Oh, maybe all shoes are one price. Could that be? I don't know. Unless that's just missing its, its tag. Huh. Maybe the nine is how much they are. Did that one have a mark with marker? I don't like when they mark them with marker. Oh, 18, what? What? That's not good. She was very expensive here. Okay, this looks to be maybe Gap. Yeah, Gap, new with tags, a little sweater. And what are they getting for it? $10, yeah. That's gonna be a little bit of a no for me shopping for clothing here. All right, I see linens down there. I'm gonna pop down to linens and then I've got a scoot. I think I have one more store to do today and I still have to go home and um, upload all of this footage and put out a video tomorrow. All right, I'm just gonna check out linens and then I'm gonna check out at the register. So all in all, a really nice thrift store to visit. 89 for a wedding dress. Again, a little bit high. I think they play the music way too loud. I don't like loud music, even if I wasn't filming. Very hard to think with such loud music going on. Um, but other than that, the hard goods is wonderful. Very good mix, very interesting pieces at very good prices overall. Clothing seems a little bit high, like I said. Shoes, if that's the general price of the shoes, I would never buy a pair of used shoes for $18. I barely spend $18 on new shoes. All right, and I didn't see any linens that really caught my attention. All right, I'm going to jump off. I'm gonna get up to the register because a very loud song is coming on. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.